You gonna shoot me? You're not John? No. You good? The ID is here? Yeah, I bet. This Uber driver was doing his regular duties when he picked up a seemingly harmless couple, a man and a lady. He was driving his car without any suspicions, but things were about to get really scary for this innocent Uber driver. The male passenger extended his hand and tried to inject the driver with some substance, but the attempt failed. The driver tried to question the male passenger about the interference. That was when the story got wild. The lady, looking so infuriated by her partner's incompetence, leapt on the driver without warning in an attempt to restrain him. Her male counterpart joined in and tried to get the job done once and for all. By this time, it was clear to the driver he was in danger and anything could happen to him. By some luck, the driver was able to get free from the grasp of the couple. With adrenaline pumping through his blood, the driver did what any desperate human being would do. He cried out for help while speeding and swerving the car from left to right. He kept screaming to get the attention of the cops if he could. The couple tried to stop him from shouting, but the driver wouldn't stop. He probably knew his life depended on it, so he hollered a little louder. The couple's next action added more mystery to the whole situation. They knew the driver's cry for help could draw the police to the scene. In a moment of confusion, the culprits admitted defeat and immediately vacated the moving car. After the dangerous couple was gone, the driver stopped his car. Here, another unfortunate incident happened on a very regular day. An Uber driver picked up two young black men who looked like innocent passengers heading into town. It was supposed to be the most normal ride, but the passengers had other plans. The driver was transiting through town with his passengers behind the seat, using their mobile devices for a while. The two passengers seemed to be having some conversation, which was a normal thing to expect. In the heat of the traffic, something unexpected happened. The boy in a white hoodie grabbed hold of the driver, while his accomplice, who donned a black hoodie, pulled out a gun on the driver. The driver stopped the car in a fright. The guy in the white hoodie got out of the back seat, while the guy in the black hoodie kept the gun on the driver's head. The driver wasn't clear on what was happening. Certainly, he was being robbed, but the full extent hadn't dawned on him. However, it was about to become painfully clear. The guy in the black hoodie started giving orders, demanding that the driver should get out of the car to avoid being shot. That must have been the moment it dawned on the driver they were trying to steal his car. The guy in the white hoodie had already opened the door and was trying to get the driver out of the car, while the guy in the black hoodie kept barking out instructions to the driver. Finally, the culprits were able to get away with the car and leave the driver stranded. This seems straight out of a Jason Statham movie, but no, it's a real-life incident. The driver tried to prepare his passenger as he started the ride. What followed was the most unexpected incident. While the driver got ready to move, a stranger got into the car and pulled out a gun on the driver, demanding his wallet. Can I help you? Yeah, what am I in such instances, the expected reaction should be the driver freaking out and giving everything on him to the culprit. But what followed wasn't what you would have expected. The driver stayed calm and told the young man to get out and that he had no money. The thief pressured the driver to yield and offer him his money and wallet. The driver adamantly stood his ground and refused to cooperate with the thief. Right now, give it to me. You gonna shoot me? Get the out of here. When the thief threatened to shoot, the driver made it clear he wasn't yielding on any grounds. Instead of giving up, the driver did the most unexpected thing. He started his car and moved. This move startled the thief, who immediately got out of the vehicle. Come on, man. Give me that wallet, bro. No. Bro, stop playing before I hit you. Give me that wallet. Give me 
All this while, the passenger in the back seat stayed calm and composed. He finally got into a conversation with our rider hero. He expressed his appreciation for how the man handled the issue, as he could have been robbed. The conversation between the driver and his passenger revealed a detail that made it all sense. The driver was an ex-military man who had gotten into the Uber business. The man knew exactly what he was doing, so he could de-escalate the issue with the needed amount of tact and calm. Show me his gun. Jesus. Right, the man right now. Eventually, the driver and his passenger continued their journey. If anything is creepy and bizarre, it is what you are about to see. The driver was out at night doing his work. Two passengers got into his car and they looked regular at first. It was all supposed to be a quick ride for the driver, but fate was about to play a quick one on him. The male passenger got into the front seat with the driver, while the other passenger got into the back seat. Immediately, the male passenger conversed with the driver about how much he loved the car brand. Nice, it's a nice car you got here. Bro. I appreciate it. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, bro. Like usually, I don't let people sit in the front, but I felt. But what serious? What serious car is this? It's um. The driver was really pleased with the patronizing statements of the passenger and just went along with it. It didn't take much time for the whole conversation to get bitter. The passenger flipped the switch and told the driver to give him everything he had on him, including the cash, phone and wallet. The driver, not wanting to get into more danger, obliged and handed over everything he had on him. The driver was aware he was outnumbered and it was late at night. He had no choice but to comply. Because let you try to do anything like the cards, it's over. Yo, come on, bro. You don't even have to do good. The that, ideas bro. in here? Yeah, All right, bro. Back, back, back. Yo, After issuing quick threats, the thieves got out of the car and disappeared into the night. The driver was still in shock, as he could hardly believe what had happened to him. In a bid to avoid losing anything else, the driver started his car and left that vicinity immediately. Yo. Yo, what the hell just happened, bro? Oh, this subsequent footage is terrible and bizarre. An Uber driver in the Oakland area picked up two passengers at night. One of the passengers noticed the camera and asked the driver what part of town he was from. This led to a more robust conversation. One of the passengers even asked for hand sanitizer twice. It looked like a really pretty ride, but something sinister was about to happen to this driver. They whisper to one another and use hand signals. Hand sanitizer? Yeah. Before one of them asks for hand sanitizer twice. That's when the other suspect... All of a sudden, one of the passengers pulled out a gun and ordered him to bring out all his belongings and get out of the car. The other passenger had gotten out of the car and was already at the driver's door, waiting impatiently for him to get out of the vehicle. At first, the driver didn't know what to do, but the constant screaming from the guy with the gun compelled him to obey the order to get out of the car. The driver didn't know what would happen next, as these guys seemed desperate enough to do anything. Come on, Don't move! Don't move! You're worried? I'm gonna Come on, give me your phone. Give me your phone. Take the the kid. Or the kid. Where's the kid? Where's the key? But Ma said one says. In one instance, one of the suspects took the Uber cam and tossed it to the ground. They took the driver's phone and eloped with his car, leaving him on the roads of Oakland around 8 p.m., completely stranded. Where they took off with his belongings and his car. It happened on East 17th Street near 23rd Avenue before 8 p.m. on October. The case was reported to the police, who swung straight into action. A few days later, the police had some not so good information for the driver. They had found something that would leave him broken. His Honda Accord hybrid was found in a terrible state and inoperable. All of the car's tires were flat and the front side was completely damaged. A few days ago, Oakland police found Bamal's Honda Accord hybrid. The front of it is completely damaged. Watching this might be very traumatizing. The Uber driver, an elderly man, was in his car with two passengers, a guy and a girl. The two appear to be a couple and we're seated in the back seat. The lady is smiling intensely, but the guy keeps a poker face. This wouldn't be deemed a suspicious activity by any driver. Consequently, the driver isn't the least bit worried as he believes this would be like one of his regular trips. How wrong he was though. In the following minutes, the calm driver was about to experience the worst fright of his life. The guy brings out a pouch from which he retrieves a knife. He grabs the driver and holds the knife to his neck. The driver tries to struggle but is unsuccessful. 
Fear courses through him to his bones, and he wonders what exactly is happening. Little does he know, more bizarre things are set to happen. The guy asked the driver to stay quiet and not shout. Of course, the driver obliged, as all he could think of was how to avoid his throat being slit with a knife. The smiling lady was already giggling at this point. You could tell she was shy and inexperienced with things like this. She reached out her hand to the front of the car, taking all the money there and anything deemed valuable. After this was done, the lady got out of the car and the guy released the driver and followed suit, leaving the traumatized driver wondering what in the world had just happened to him. What's about to happen to this driver is truly distressing. Although this video lacks audio footage, it's painfully apparent what is happening, and it's disheartening. The footage captures an old Chinese Uber driver being robbed by a young suspect. This driver has been cornered and is being robbed at gunpoint. The suspect seems to be very forceful, and despite being at gunpoint, this elderly Chinese Uber driver was able to keep his cool and cooperate with the robber to avoid the issue escalating. But even with all his efforts, you would not believe what eventually happened. The suspect demanded everything from the driver. The first thing he took from the driver was his iPhone. After that, the Chinese driver emptied his pockets and the suspect took what he deemed valuable. At this point, the suspect had everything he needed and could leave the old man in peace. But that wasn't even going to happen. After some verbal exchange, the suspect hit the driver on the head with the butt of the gun repeatedly. As a result of the impact, the driver started bleeding from the nose. The suspect then exited the car and the driver left the scene immediately. What's happening to this driver could be easily ignored if you do not pay close attention. It looks like a driver casually handing a cell phone over to an innocent person. However, a closer look will reveal something dark happening. Seorang pengemudi taksi online yang berada di area parkir sebuah gedung di Gambir, Jakarta Pusat, dikerjai oleh calon penumpangnya. The culprit in question is seen standing behind the driver, signaling for him to hand over his device. The driver stays really calm, so you might not catch anything unusual. His composed attitude is a big reason why you might overlook the video. He hands the phone to the suspect casually, but figuring out what's really going on isn't easy. This passenger hypnotizes the driver, and as a result, the driver will do anything he is asked to do. This sinister act by this passenger makes this robbery look like an everyday conversation, but it's not. After giving the phone to the culprit, the driver patiently waits for him to leave. This happens a few moments later, and the thief probably believed he had escaped without consequences. However, the Uber camera was working, and his face was well captured in the footage. This helps the police in finding and retrieving the driver's mobile device. Polisi pun mengimbau agar korban segera membuat laporan sehingga polisi memiliki bekal lebih banyak untuk mencari dan menciduk pelaku. Dari Jakarta, yuk. The footage is so disturbing, it would break your heart. It's a regular day in Chicago, and this driver is having a chit-chat with his passenger. Good driver-passenger relations couldn't be any better than this. But you wouldn't imagine how downward this story is about to spiral. Um, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe for about a month. About a month? Yeah. You come here for a long time, man. I know. The passenger in the back seat suddenly bends, looking for something that fell off him in the car. Being a nice guy, the driver noticed this and asked what was happening. The passenger told him he had dropped something under the driver's seat. Oh, July is better, man. You okay? Yeah, 
You got it? You got it, sir? No, you got it? No, it's under your seat. Oh, it's my seat? Because stuff like this happens every day, the driver decides to help the passenger find the missing item. This act of benevolence on the driver's path leads to something so sinister you would not believe it. As the driver tries to look under the car seat, the passenger opens up the car's middle compartment and cites the exact position of the driver's wallet. The driver is still oblivious to the sorrow he's about to experience. Yeah, it's a credit, it's like a debit card. Thank you, you got it? No, sir. No. We will find it, man. It's, I'm, I mean, it's kind of good. He decides to park his car to help the passenger check for the missing item. When the driver fully gets down, the passenger picks out the wallet and keeps it in his pocket. He then tells the driver he's found what he was looking for. The unsuspecting driver got back into the car to continue the journey. The next moments that follow would leave you utterly speechless. You seen it? Oh, I got it, I got it, I got it. You got it? Yeah. Got, oh my. Got it? Yeah. Okay, good, good. Oh, wait, wait. The passenger suddenly acts up like he took the wrong cab and exits the car. John? No. You're not John? No. Oh my God, are you serious? You called the Uber? Yes, this, I'm so sorry. The unsuspecting driver carries on until it hits him something is amiss. He quickly checks for his wallet and discovers it's gone. His lovely passenger had taken it. Oh my God. Oh my God, man. The devastated driver reaches out to a cop immediately, but we never know if he ever got his wallet back. This just guy just take my wallet away, man. Which guy? Black guy, I just drop it. He went this way, run, he run this way. He, he took... This is a real incident that unfolded in a series of surprisingly shocking events. The driver is just going about his day quietly when something completely unexpected occurs. The driver was in the heat of a traffic jam when he was given the shock of a lifetime. Suddenly, someone rises from the back seat and tries to rob the driver. Of course, the poor driver is so startled, he almost goes into hysteria. The suspect threatened the driver violently with a gun and tried to obtain all of his money and possessions. It was clear the driver was willing to cooperate and give up anything he had. He took out all the cash on him and gave it to the suspect. It was quite a lot of cash, but the suspect wanted more. He kept pressuring the driver to give up all other valuables like his phone. The suspect hurled threats of death at the driver, insisting that he cooperated. Again and again, the driver insisted he didn't have much. But this robber was desperately bent on getting something more from the driver. This story could have taken a more sinister turn with grave harm happening to the driver. But then, this story took another twist. Behind the driver's car was a police car. For some reason, the cop noticed that something was wrong. He immediately swung into action and walked towards the car. The cop successfully arrested the culprit and saved the driver from further harm. The driver gets down from his car and narrates his ordeal to the cop. It's clear from his voice he is still terribly shaken by the experience. A dark and disturbing turn of events awaits the Newcastle driver. On a fateful night on the streets of Newcastle, the driver is carrying out his duties with two passengers in his car. All is going well until it's time for the passenger at the back to get out of the car. You wouldn't expect the series of events that followed next. The driver got his payment from the passenger and was waiting for the passenger to alight. You look your new him because I would have smashed it. Aye. 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 Going to keep your car. Yeah. Suddenly, the passenger pulled out a gun on the driver. The passenger in the front seat seemed to have noticed something was off and kept winking at the driver to keep his cool. The driver attempted to keep the suspect calm. Typically, such situations tend to result in a robbery. This one appeared to be heading in that direction until the unexpected occurred. The suspect kept the gun back in his sack and exited the car. 
This next footage is from the dash cam of a driver captured around Oxyron Southeast. The driver had just completed a ride and was preparing to move when he noticed two young men walking towards his car. It all seemed calm at first. Dashcam video capturing Mohammed Ibrahim in his SUV near Oxen Run Park in Southeast. One angle showing two guys approaching his vehicle. When the innocent driver didn't read much into this, as people would usually walk past cars. This time, the driver was wrong and was about to be involved in the struggle of a lifetime. What happened next sent all the adrenaline surging through his brain. Suddenly, one of the two guys opened the driver's door and tried to force him out of the car. The full import of the situation dawned on the driver. His car was being hijacked. The next action the driver took added more drama to the dark narrative. He instinctively pushed the guy away and tried to lock his door. While he was trying to do that, the other door opened and the other guy tried to push the driver out. The driver once again defended himself and got the other guy out. I don't know that he's going to be doing that. One of them opens up the driver's side door. Ibrahim responded quickly by pushing him back. When I push him on that side, there's another guy. He came from the other door. The moments that followed were defining for the outcome of this tussle. The two guys tried to get into the car simultaneously to overpower the driver. One of them pulled out a knife and was getting ready to use it. This looked like the end for sure. Push him out. <laughs> the other guy again, he came. He says by the second time fighting them away, one... But this driver still had a bit of that Hollywood-level adrenaline surging in his blood, enough to pull one more action thriller stunt. The driver took a huge risk, even with the knife being brandished. He started his car and drove off. This shocked the two culprits, who immediately withdrew from around the vehicle. When he was opening it up, I just drove away. Ibrahim, a Lyft driver, had just completed a ride. When commenting on the incident, the driver made clear this had happened to him before, and in that case, his car was successfully hijacked. That explains why he had so much resilience this time. This next video is captured at night, amplifying the grim nature of the occurrences. The Uber driver was simply trying to do his job in the darkness. He picked up a male passenger earlier and drove him to the stated location. The driver didn't expect anything unusual to happen as his passenger looked well-dressed and responsible. However, something sinister was about to unfold. The passenger seemed to have gotten to his location and demanded that the driver pull over. The driver obliged by bringing the car to a halt. Immediately, the driver pulled over and he received the shock of his life. A gun was pointed at him from behind. His sweet, innocent passenger had transformed into a gunman. With the gun in his hand, the passenger demanded that the driver provide all his valuables. Of course, the driver was already jittery and simply obeyed the robber's instructions. His hands in the air, it was clear he was entirely at the mercy of his assailant. The suspect took the driver's phone and other valuables before leaving the vehicle. The next video also happens in the shadow of the night. This driver is waiting for two passengers to get into his car. The environment is lonely and only the driver is present. Suddenly, two young men walk towards the car. They seem to be the passengers the driver is expecting as they walk casually towards the car and get into it. The driver doesn't react like anything is wrong yet, but immediately they got into the car. The gear of the conversation shifted. The driver never expected what happened next. Uma câmera interna de motorista de aplicativo grava o momento em que ele é assaltado por criminosos. Quer ver? Abre o áudio, por favor. The passenger sitting in the front seat starts a clear conversation with the driver and lets him know that he's getting robbed. The driver, realizing this is happening, tries to maintain calm and avoid grave consequences. The passenger in front orders the driver to part with his valuables, while the accomplice at the back threatens to cooperate with them to avoid any anomaly. Olha aí, ele já disse que ia tomar um tiro. O Luiz Felipe, que é motorista, vai sendo alvo de. The guy in front orders the driver to be quick about it. He punches the driver's face to make him cooperate better. They take everything they can from the driver and quickly exit the car. The suspects ran away immediately, leaving the driver stranded. De agressividade desde o início da abordagem. O bandido pede a senha, bate no motorista de. This last video happened in Mexico. This driver had picked up two male passengers, something he would do every normal day. 
He was going about his work when the grim happened. The old Uber driver must have been really shocked. Y véalos, véalos bien. Sí, mira, hasta en alta definición. Así fue como quedar. The boys appear to be around 20 years of age, making it quite easy for them to overpower the driver. They inform the old man that they are attempting to rob him, but his mind wouldn't have cooked up what these boys were apparently up to. He soon understood that these boys wanted more than money. They wanted something more. Diego y Brandon. Vamos a platicar de Diego y Brandon. Estos dos angelitos que asaltaron a un conductor. In the twinkle of an eye, they forced the old driver out of the driver's seat while one of them took over the wheels. At this point, it must have become thoroughly clear to the driver this was a car heist. Despite this shocking revelation, the driver, who was old enough to be the grandpa of these kids, sat quietly at the back of the car. One of the boys eventually placed a blue tap on the dash cam. This must have seemed like an intelligent action, but it was too late. Their faces had been captured and identified. This made it easy for the cops to launch an investigation, and after a few days, they successfully arrested the culprits along with everyone else involved in the case.